This week we pick up our story back at the beginning, South Africa. Zai had completed a learn to sail course and we drove down to Simonstown to spend our first night aboard Lucky Fish. It was Zai's first chance to see the boat, and Dan, the builder, was there to meet us. Dan gave us a lashing demonstration. He then described the operation of the engines. and we left the marina for our first sail. Yeah, okay. Is there, there's a release button underneath, is there? No, give it a good shove. Good shove. Yeah. It's in gear there, it's just idling. With only two sails up. Spinnaker. Yes. <laughs> Mike just loves. Mike just loves the spinnaker. Well, let's do the spinnaker. He's getting the spinnaker ready. The wind didn't cooperate for the spinnaker, so Dan set up the vane steering for its first trial. Yeah, that's coming around. It had been an exciting day, leaving us with plenty to think about. We returned to the marina and prepared for a sail the next day on our own.
The weather was perfect again. We sailed around for a few hours, but we were anxious to take the boat to Soldana Bay, probably South Africa's most protected cruising ground. That would mean Zaya's first coastal trip would round the Cape of Good Hope. Dan gave us a strategy to do it. Wait for a calm night and motor to the Cape. Arrive at sunrise just as the sea breeze starts to kick in. Turn north and ride the wind for 120 miles to Saldana. We returned to the dock, checked the forecast again, provisioned the boat and left at 2am the following morning. That's Cape Point and just behind that's the Cape of Good Hope. We're having lots of good hopes that we get round in one go. It's about 5.30 in the morning and uh, we left, what, three hours ago from Simonstown down there. We've had a uh, 10 to 5 knot headwind south easterly and uh, motored all the way and it's been just uh, perfect conditions to get round this point. Got a good co-skipper here, one of Mongolia's finest. Right after rounding the cape, the sun rose, the cloud lifted and the sea breeze filled in right on cue. We enjoyed a fast sail north, arriving at Soldana Bay just before midnight. We berthed at Yacht Port, Robertson and Kane's new Leopard catamaran launching base, and found the staff and facilities to be nothing short of excellent. This little guy thought so too, and went to work on his meal of fresh calamari. After spending a day at Yachtport, we left to explore the bay. Well, this is navigating in Saldana Port. There's a major iron ore facility here, and uh, that ship over there has just been taken under tow by the tug, and it's about to go out. But we think we're going to get in front of that one without terribly much difficulty. And then over here, there's another iron ore ship there bulk carrier that's sitting on anchor and then in the distance there there's an oil rig that came in overnight from Nigeria it's replacing one that left yesterday this is a maintenance facility here I don't think that presents much of a problem its speed is about two knots apparently you just see a wake coming off of its legs there there's something pushing it pretty impressive there's another bulk carrier that's just left for the heads earlier on and we're heading up behind that green ship there's a lagoon way up there which is supposedly very protected it looks lovely and uh, good fishing nice beaches and away from all this industrial stuff To describe the next few weeks we spent at Soldana Bay as idyllic would be an understatement. Yeah. 
Soldana was the first time for everything. It was the first time we flew the Spinnaker. The asymmetric on the Tiki 38 is launched in a sock and controlled by two sheets and two guys. There is no pole. It couldn't be made any easier to handle and got us a long way across the Atlantic. It was the first time we fished on Lucky Fish. Who could have guessed back then that Zaya would become so passionate about fishing? Mm. Are they coming out clean? All one piece? It was the first time we caught something too. <laughs> what are they called? I think it's a stuff <laughs> We anchored for the first time at the pretty Kraal Bay. We're the New South Africans. <laughs> so proud. <laughs> they build good yachts. <laughs> it was the first time we used the dinghy. And realised it was too big for our needs. Yeah. It was also the first time we used the solar shower. And the first time we'd ever heard of a Greek island called Mykonos in South Africa. We met Jackie and Elite. They sail a Chris White Atlantic catamaran and Jackie also sails this flicker design. We took them for a sail. Now, what I don't understand is why all this organisation just turn the bloody figure out and go. <laughs> Jackie, you're so right, you know, we've, we came here with a view of making a list of jobs before we, you know, head off, but it's really only ourselves who've got to get ready, the boat's ready to go. Well, Jackie is right, but we still ended up with this job list as long as your arm, and started work with our last remaining days back at Yachtport. We oiled the decking timbers. This involved a lot of work on our knees, and I ended up with bursitis and couldn't fly. This landed us in trouble with South African immigration, as Zaya was forced to overstay by just two days. There is no option to extend in South Africa. Before she overstayed, we got advice that it would be okay, just a small fine. 
Instead, Zaya got banned for 12 months. An appeal would take 90 days. If the appeal failed, we would not be able to return to our boat for another year. We left the boat on the hard stand at Yachtport and returned to Mongolia to build up the cruising kitty, research and order parts to outfit the boat for crossing the Atlantic, get Zaya's overstay appeal underway, and throw in our jobs. Join us in the next videos as sailing legend Rory McDougall joins us. Toya signs on as crew, we get started on the job list and run into the bureaucratic bungle that is South Africa. If you'd like to see more regular uploads from us, help us replace camera gear, pay for video uploads, then you can become a patron or you can make a one-time donation to Lucky Fish through PayPal. Your generosity is very much appreciated and you'll find links to those in the description below. Thanks everyone and cheers! cheers.